and welcome back. I'm Melissa and today I'm going to be showing you everything that I'm eating as someone who follows a plant-based low calorie density way of eating. If you are new to my channel, be sure to check out the other videos in this playlist where I go more into detail about this way of eating and how I lost over 30 pounds eating this way without counting calories at all. So this morning I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm going to bake this sweet potato with the skin on. I'm just gonna poke a few fork holes and bake it on 450 Fahrenheit for about 20, oh, nope, for about 45 minutes. And I am going to kind of mash it up a little bit, add some cinnamon and some of these frozen blueberries, probably half a cup to a cup of blueberries. This is one cup of frozen blueberries. So I'm using about half of that. And the sweet potato is really, really hot just out of the oven, so it shouldn't take long to melt these. And I'll just kind of mash it all and add my cinnamon in. And I very rarely eat breakfast before 10 a.m. I usually eat my first meal of the day between, I guess, 10.30 and noon. The only exception is when Alex has a smoothie for breakfast. I will sometimes have some as well. All right, I'm gonna add my cinnamon now. I love sweet potatoes, they're just my favorite super versatile too. You can use them in soups, chilies, you can turn them into sweet potato fries, you can make desserts out of them, you can have them just on their own with a little bit of ketchup or sriracha. All right, I'm gonna go enjoy this. Let me know in the comment section below, do you eat the skin of your sweet potato or do you take that part off? I eat it, I don't mind it, I think, I think it tastes fine. For a snack, I am having a bowl of red grapes and one of my favorite teas of all time, Bengal Spice. If you love cinnamon, then I highly recommend this tea. It is caffeine free, but it steeps really strong in the first few minutes and there's also a natural sweetness in it, so it's amazing. Very, very flavorful. I highly recommend it. And when it comes to fruit, I never weigh or measure the amount that I'm eating. I just eat as much as I want until I'm comfortably full, which is what I recommend when you are on a low calorie density diet. And I love that about this way of eating. You don't have to worry about how much you're eating, you just eat until you're full. And fruit is only two to 300 calories per pound. So I, I still, to this day, get many messages, probably daily on Instagram, of people asking about specific portions and specific quantities and you know, how much are they, quote unquote, allowed to have of certain foods. And for me, what, what works best for me and what enabled me to lose over 30 pounds without having to count calories or keep track of any of that is sticking with the foods that are 700 calories per pound or less and eating them until I'm comfortably full. I will say that I do understand where this mindset comes from, this feeling that you need to keep track of how much you're eating or make sure that you don't overdo it because if you're eating highly processed high calorie density foods, foods that are deep fried or contain a lot of oil, nut butters, and if you were to eat those foods and eat them until you're comfortably full, then that is a totally different story because those foods you know, can be in the thousands of calories per pound. All right, so for lunch, I am going to make a barley and chickpea salad. Now, this is what I do for many of my meals. I just open up my fridge and I open up my pantry and I see what ingredients need to be eaten up, 
what I've got a little bit left of, and I kind of just try to create a meal out of what I see. So I had a cucumber that needs to be eaten, and I've got some of these tiny sweet peppers. I've got a jalapeno, and so I'm gonna just make a salad out of these things. Again, I like to include a wet starch, beans and vegetables in most of my meals uh, when it comes to dinner and lunch and that's something that I shared in last week's video and it's just something that I like to keep in mind because if I don't include a wet starch then I tend to get hungry a lot more quickly after my meal times and I like to eat something that is just hearty and it's going to keep me full for a little while. And I want to answer a question about avocado tofu and a few of the other foods that you may have noticed me eating on Instagram. I get uh, asked this quite often. People are noticing that I have some foods that are a bit higher in calories per pound. And the reason for that is that I am not trying to lose any more weight. So I've already reached, you know, I'm, I'm 105 pounds at five foot two and a half, and I'm, I'm more than comfortable at that number. And I find that if I stick with only low calorie density foods, I was actually continuing to lose weight. And I prefer to stay within a healthy body mass index percentage, which I currently am. And so that is why I'm including a bit more avocado. You may notice me eating tofu. Uh, once in a while I'll have fruit jam in my oatmeal and also I have pasta a few times a week. But other than that, those are the only four things. So a lot of people have been asking me, how do I eat differently now? that I've lost the weight and you know what do they need to eat in order to achieve that weight loss. I would say just stick within that 700 calories per pound of whole plant foods or less. And so again, those four foods, if you notice any of my meals containing avocado, fruit jam, tofu, or pasta, you can just skip those ingredients or swap them out for something else. When in doubt, opt for potatoes. That's what I always say. All right, I'm gonna rinse this barley and then cook it all. I believe there's about two cups dry in here. Let's just check it out. Yep. And barley, when cooked, is about 560 calories per pound, so it's a fantastic wet starch. And just a quick tip, if you are looking up the calories per pound of foods that need to be cooked, make sure the number that you're getting is the calories per pound of the food when cooked. So if you, if you were to search how many calories per pound in, of dry barley or just barley, it might tell you a higher number and that is the dry weight. The dry weight of barley is going to be a much higher calorie per pound number than the food would be once it has absorbed all the water and is much bigger in volume. The barley is cooking on the stove top and it's three cups of water for every one cup of dried barley when you're cooking it. And I have peeled the cucumber and diced it up. This is half of the onion diced up, about one inch of the jalapeno pepper diced up and all of the mini sweet peppers chopped up. All right, so I have just rinsed the chickpeas and this was a 15 and a half ounce can of chickpeas. And I'm gonna add it to the mixing bowl with all of the other chopped veggies. And I'm just gonna wait for the barley to be ready before I add in any of the spices, the avocado or the lemon juice and balsamic. All right, so I've given the veggies and chickpeas a good mix together, and now I'm going to add in the cooked barley. I let it cool down a tiny bit, and I'm gonna add in two cups cooked. 
And so I'm going to mix this all together well, and I'm going to portion this out into glass meal prep containers and put the amount that I'm going to eat now in a bowl. And if you are sticking with 100% low calorie density, aroma tomato would be really nice in this instead of the avocado. But I'm going to save this one for something else. All right, I'm going to take a quarter of a cup of lemon juice. It's going to be very lemony. I'm going to do a heaping tablespoon of garlic powder. And I just had an idea. Since so many people ask me about the size of my bowls and say that it's hard to tell how much I'm eating, I know that's helpful for some people just for reference. So I decided to show you. This bowl here is actually quite large. I, so many people have said that it looks like I'm eating a tiny bowl of food. So I thought I would just show you. This is, can you see, four cups of water, 32 ounces. So when I'm filling this bowl up with soup or oatmeal, that's how much can fit in there. So just to give you a bit of an idea, I know it's a little hard to tell in video, so that's how big this dish is when you see me using it. And for those of you who keep asking me, my mom got this set from Costco about three years ago now. And I'm still gonna put my avocado in there. So I'll have that much for now. splash of balsamic. And again, you can make this a completely SOS-free diet. No salt, no oil, no sugar. I happen to use salt. I like adding sea salt to my vegetables. Um, but if you want to be completely salt-free, by all means, do what works for you. Now, you guys know my little thing that I do. I take a nice pretty picture with the avocado looking all nice and then after I've taken the picture, I just mix everything up together because it tastes so much nicer that way. But I know it's not that pretty to look at a, a picture of a food that looks like a bowl of mush. So I'm going to take my pretty Instagram picture and then just mix all this avocado together. And I'm going to use the whole avocado. Again, the completely low calorie density version of this. You just swap this out for an entire Roma tomato instead. And again, avocados are not crazy high on the calorie density list. They're still well under 1,000 calories per pound. They're, I believe, around 750-ish, and I say to stay under 700 for weight loss. Let me know in the comment section below if you like me explaining things like this in my videos. Sometimes I talk less and I just show you the food only. Um, I'm sure some people will prefer both ways, but I welcome friendly feedback in the comment section. And just to be a little fancy schmancy, I'm going to add a little bit of celery seed on top. There we go. Voila. Mm -mm -mm. Yum, yum, yum. So the rest of the food that's in the mixing bowl is going to go into a couple of glass meal prep containers and I'll have leftovers for tomorrow and maybe the next day. Or if Alex wants a healthy snack, he can try some. As a snack, I am going to slice up a banana and sprinkle some cinnamon on top. And I was just watching a YouTube video and someone in the video was giving financial advice. There was someone who asked the question, something along the lines of how do I get myself to save money and how do I make myself not spend money on things that I don't need? And the advice given was something along the lines of if you needed that money and there was some sort of an emergency with your child, for example, where you had to have that money, you wouldn't need any specific advice or tips to follow. You would just make it happen because it, that thing just now became the most important thing to you and you will do everything in your power to make that happen. 
And the reason I'm sharing this with you is it's similar advice that I would give to a lot of the similar questions that I've been getting, like how do I not eat junk food when my kids are eating junk food in front of me? Or, you know, my husband brings home pizza, how do I avoid indulging in that pizza and stick with my healthy food? And I know these temptations are challenging. I am not minimizing how difficult it is to sit there when other people are eating tasty things that smell amazing, foods that you really love, and now all of a sudden you are eating potatoes and broccoli and black beans and chickpeas with you know no oil dressings on them. It's a big difference, I understand that. And that is why I always recommend to get your environment as clean as possible, meaning keep the junk food out of your home to the extent that you can. I know it's more difficult when you live with other people who are not eating this way, but I will say that it is possible. It is possible. And that's why I share these tips. That's why I make these videos to share, you know, how I did it and what worked for me with you with the hopes that these little tips are helpful for you. And so something that I would say is to make sure that you're full off of your food first. It is so much harder to avoid temptations when you are hungry, when you haven't eaten enough at your own meal time and then someone brings home your favorite, you know, non-compliant food that is deep fried and smelling delicious, it's going to be that much harder to avoid it because you're hungry. And the other thing I would say is to have ready-made snacks that don't require a lot of prepping. If that means you have to have, you know, bowls of berries in your fridge so that you can just pull out a bowl of berries and have that to snack on, something that you genuinely enjoy, um, maybe some mashed sweet potato with cinnamon and you have that already in your fridge and you can just take that out, warm it up and eat that. At the end of the day, you are going to have to put in more work to eating than someone who is following a standard American diet or who is eating fast food and junk food. It does take work, but it is possible and, and that is all I wanted to say. You can do this and you know what? If you overindulge one day, that doesn't mean you need to throw in the towel. You can start again tomorrow. You can start again with your next meal, making it a healthy choice. All right, I'm going to make a super easy dinner for Alex and I tonight. I've got two russet potatoes, which I am going to dice into about one centimeter cubes. An entire yellow onion, I'm going to be using about half a cup to a cup of frozen peas and frozen corn. And I'm gonna saute the onions and cook the potatoes with a splash of water on the stove top and then I put the lid on. So again, no oil whatsoever. And I am going to season it with some garlic powder, some ground cumin, ketchup, maybe a bit of salt and pepper. And I'm gonna rinse this entire can of black beans and put that in the pan as well. Just kind of mix it all together and it ends up tasting delicious and it's super filling. And this is the ketchup I use. It's from Safeway and it's a no high fructose corn syrup ketchup. And I'll put another 
sprinkle of garlic powder. Thanks so much for watching and check out lowcaloriedensity.com for more information about eating this way. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.